So if you use DaVinci Resolve, either the free version or the paid version, to create your YouTube shorts, you may have noticed this problem where when you export the video and then copy it to your phone and try to create a short from it, it gives an error saying that it's unable to preview the video. The problem is that DaVinci Resolve has embedded something called a timecode track into the video and you'll need to remove that in order to be able to use the YouTube Shorts editor on your phone. As of the time of recording, as far as I can find, there is no way to do this in the DaVinci Resolve program. The first thing you need to do is go on the export tab and click on audio and make sure the codec AAC is selected because if you have linear PCM, it'll still give the same error. The next thing you'll need to do is use the FFmpeg program to remove the timecode track. Now I know using the command prompt and writing in things like this can be complicated and scary looking. So I made a program that automatically does it for you. Download the file from my GitHub link that's in the description and put it in the same folder as your videos. Double click it. It takes about half a second to run and you have two new files that you can upload directly to YouTube Shorts using your phone and it'll work perfectly. If you don't have FFmpeg on your computer, you can get it easily from their website. Go to the Windows section, click on Windows Builds, go to either one, we'll click on that one. Then we'll go to the latest. I typically get the full one. It'll download. Once the download is finished, open it up, go to the bin folder, and copy the FFmpeg exe file to the same folder as your shorts and the batch file. Run the batch file and it only takes a few seconds because it's not converting anything, it's just stripping off the timecode track. Now you have two files ready to upload through your phone and now you can set the thumbnails. Be sure to click like on this if you found this helpful. You know how the things are. Cheers! A quick note, if you've already got a bunch of shorts that you've exported with PCM audio, you can take out just this section, the CA copy, and leave the rest as is, and it will automatically convert the audio to AAC for you.